Welcome back to the latest episode of the Laura and Becky show, where today you will find we can't actually speak properly. You can't even um, type. You can't type. I, I don't know what's going on. Like, we've been <gasps> discussing a few things before the pod. We're like... <laughs> anyway, so we're So it's going to be a fun one today. Uh, we are sponsored by Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa and Red Brick Estate Agents. I do believe this is our... Oh, hang on. Is it 98th or 99th? I should know this, shouldn't I? Let's have a look. Hang on. Let me just... Let me just double check what episode this is. 99th. So tomorrow's the 100th tomorrow's episode. One. We yeah. haven't planned anything for this. Someone was um, messaging me actually saying, what are you going to do for your 100th podcast? I was like, I don't know. I don't even know when it is. No, I don't think we need to. Do we? I don't know. Anyway, thanks. If you've just yeah. found us, then hello. We're Lauren Becky. Thank you for listening. And hello to um, our OGs, like we like to call them now. OG, yeah. you are an OG. You know, like um, how Katy Perry has the, oh, uh, what are her kittens? fans called? Little... Yeah, and Lady Gaga has the... Little monsters. Little monsters, <laughs> I'm glad you remember. Are our, what are ours? They, uh, I don't know. There's the OGs, but... We need to think of Maybe something. it's like the feral gang the or the feral family. The ferals. The ferals. That's quite good. Mm, yeah, quite like why that. not? Why not be feral? I was imagining, actually, because um, I was listening to a different podcast yesterday. Um, have you ever listened to the High Performance podcast? A little bit. Mm. Oh, see, I love it, mate. It. Rylan was a guest yes. on there yesterday um, and I listened to it. It was really good. Whatever you think of Ryan, because I know people are sort of like a bit divided on him, aren't they? I, I think he's hilarious. I, I'd love to do a night out with uh, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Um, so he was on there. But honestly, such a good interview. He's very, very honest and raw on there. And I was just hooked by the whole oh. thing. Yes. Oh, I listened to that. But what was my point with this? Ryland, high performance. <laughs> Here we go. Um, oh, oh, and they were talking about oh. how they're doing a tour. Right. So they're going to be touring around the country. And obviously this is an aim of ours, isn't it, with this podcast. When we get yeah. so many listeners, whatever, we would love to do yeah. a tour. Oh, so. we, no, we are going. We are going to do a tour, Becky. That is the attitude of yes. 2023. Not we want to, we will be. Um, and I was just thinking, sorry, yesterday. I haven't finished yet, mate. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is the longest story ever. <laughs> Jesus I'm Christ. still going. We're going around the houses with this, aren't we? Bloody Come off on a tangent. We've Rylan. I know. <laughs> Different podcast. My point was, um, I was thinking um, when I was listening to them talking about a tour yesterday, about when we do a tour, and I thought, what would we do on our tour? And I thought maybe we would get everybody to come. Feral. Everyone in the audience would be feral. We could have a feral tour. I'd like that. Don't need to pack a lot. Don't worry about your makeup. Just bring a tracksuit, maybe a flannel. Yeah, you don't need to get dressed up. You don't need to worry about what you're wearing. You just come along and you're feral. Okay, anyway, that's it. Let's book that feral tour in then. Well done, Becky. <laughs> Christ, we're halfway through the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God almighty. Um, Red Brick Estate Agents are our brand new shiny sponsors. Um, if you're looking to buy, rent, sell, have a look. Do have a look. There's um, lots of them. I walked past their office in Sheffield the other day, actually. It's very Instagrammable, isn't yeah, we it? Need to go in there. We've not been in there yet. We do. Well, we've been talking about doing a bit of a night out with those guys yeah. because they are a bit of us. Yeah, they're so we need lovely. to get sorted. Lovely guys. Yeah, have a look at them. So, okay, let's start then with I've got a new follower. Now, I know um, I've actually got quite a few um, celebrities following me. Hang on, a few? Let's name them, shall we? So, um, well, I've got Stacey Solomon. Biggie. Okay. Um, Any others? No. <laughs> I've got a right pool of them. Well, just the one. Just, <laughs> just Stacey. Um, I think she's still following me anyway. Yeah, do you know what? Is she? Oh, sorry. Oh, God. What is going on today? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think she is. Shall I check? Shall we have another Stacey Solomon check? Yeah, we need an update on Stacey Solomon. Let's she's pregnant again, isn't she? Ooh, she's about to give birth, mate. I mean... Oh, yeah, she kept it right secret, didn't she, for a while? Yeah. Right, followers. Let's have a look. Search. Stacey... Yes, she is, yeah. There she is. Is look. she watching any of your stories? I don't know. Actually. That's mental, isn't it? So her, anyway, I've got a new follower. Go on. Uh, this is very exciting as well. Jason Donovan. Stop it. Jason Donovan. Jason Donovan 5972 is now following me. <laughs> I do believe it's the real Jason Donovan. He's got three followers and he's following 36 people. No profile picture. It's That'll Jason, be him. Mate, it's Jason Donovan. Yeah. I know it is. Uh, Yes, I, I think know it you're is. right. Yeah. yeah, He's obviously just going under the, the radar yeah, a bit. This is yeah. obviously his private personal one that not many people get private. access to. It's pri it is private. So I'm going to follow him back. Let's have a look. Oh, I love it. There's Let's nothing see. to see, mate. Who else is he following? Oh, no, don't know any of those. Well, don't recognise any of those me. people. Me. That's the most important. He has followed yeah. me. 
He's cho- oh, I've... he's following Davina McCall oh. as well. So yes, it must well, be him. There we go. I mate Davina. <laughs> it's definitely Jason Donovan and Shakira. Is it? Oh, Shakira. Oh. There we go. Mate, you've yeah. um, you're in there with old celebs, aren't you? At the I moment. I tell you what. I mean, yeah. Div- uh, he's thought right. Who can I follow? Shakira. Yeah. Davina, Laura. <laughs> so, uh, I mean... I can't wait till he puts his first post on, because he, he's got no posts currently. I can't. Um, it's going to be great. Yeah, well, oh, I'm excited. Stacey well, one... Solomon and Jason Donovan, who have you got following you? Any celebs? Um, mm, no. No? I don't think so. Oh, dear. Um, I know it's... Um... Well, I've got two. Yeah. Can I have one of your horse? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's going on in the world? Oh, no, we were going to do your furniture. Yeah, well... I mean, actually, tell us. Tell us it's, well, it's actually story. a bit boring, I'm not going to lie. So my Monday evening was spent putting up bits of furniture. It wasn't from Ikea, actually. I know, that is... That's yeah. weird. Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> there is a reason. <laughs> so, you know, I'm on kind of like a, a no-spending month mm-hmm. and hunkering month. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to stick to that, but... My mum got me a voucher for Christmas, £80 to spend on Amazon. So I had to go on Amazon. I love that. I've Mm. never, I don't think I've ever got anyone an Amazon voucher, but actually. Hey, you can get everything on Amazon. Anything you want. You want a pair of pyjamas, you can get them on Amazon. Yeah, you want to get a plant for the house, you can find it on Amazon. My husband started trying to, because I was talking about Amazon. I was like, I love Amazon, it's brilliant. He's like, well, actually, started going on about, well... I was like, oh, here we go. Because obviously they, for his job, I don't know, they do something. I don't even know what my husband does for a job. I couldn't tell you what he does. You're not bothered either, are you? I couldn't tell you. Yeah. He said to someone the other day, they're like, oh, what do you do? He was like, oh, I'm a, um, I thought, here we go. I'm yeah. going to find out what I he does. Take some notes on this. And he said something like a, um, an account director sales, something like that. And I looked at him and I went, no, you're not. And he went, yes, I am. I was like, are you? I thought, oh, Christ, what he does. I love the fact you don't know what your husband does. I have no does. idea. Day to day. But the thing is, what I do is I try and be interested. So I go, do you? Do, I go, do you have a nice day today, love? It'll be like, yeah, and he'll start talking about it. And I literally, after 10 seconds, I'm like, oh, God. It's when he gets corporate, isn't it? And you're like, oh, God, I'm well, dying to death here, James. tried to get corporate about Amazon. And I, I just went, you got to stop. you got to no. stop talking. But I like every. Yeah. Nah. Do you know every used to be Hermes? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh I didn't. They changed their mm. name. Even worse. Yeah, even worse. But the thing is, Amazon's convenient, isn't oh, it? Convenient. It's so convenient. It First is. place I go to for anything, because it's like, right, it'll probably arrive tomorrow. Bish, bash, bosh. There it is. Oh, you've just yeah. said bish, bash, bosh. You're turning into me. Bish. I say bish, bash, bosh. <laughs> <laughs> you've now said it. Oh, God, we're morphing into each other. How so, was the furniture? It, well, literally, I, I ordered it on Sunday. It arrived on Monday. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? None of this missing Are parcel you business. Are you talking next day delivery? Yes, I am. Is that am. what you mean? Do you know what I like as well, right? The delivery men have got, or, or ladies, actually, I didn't know what it was, um, or who it was, rather, people. Um, they've got so, um, is lazy the word? Now, even if you're home, they knock and they leave the parcel. Have you noticed this? Oh, they so just they, leave it on your yeah. front door. They don't care, do I they? quite like that. They just go, boom, 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 knock. And I was at the door quickly because I was expecting these parcels. Opened it, nobody there. It was just there waiting for yeah, me. That's great. Perfect. No interaction. I don't want to chat. Yeah, <laughs> so I got me parcel, took it in. Anyway, last night, we met for a quick wine, didn't yeah. we? And I thought, oh, I can't be drunk tonight because I've got to put up furniture. I've got to read instructions. Um, put two bits up, mate. Oh, well done. So I'm, I'm going to tell you what they are because this is so interesting. Oh, this, God, is my, can, this is my I'm life at the moment. I your stories today. You're full of it. <laughs> That's I mean, great. My life is so on the edge. Go on, tell right us. Now. One was a, um, a bench that you can store your, your footwear on for the hallway. Right. Got that, put that up. Amazing. And then the other one is a nice little side table in my dining room to put like books on and a little lamp and something. So, well, yeah. Well, well, well done for doing that yourself. Did it all by myself, guys? Well done. Okay, we have launched our competition with Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa. Look, should we be honest? We yeah. forgot to do it yesterday, didn't we? We were meant to do it last night and um, we forgot. It will be on our Instagram today. We've got to do we've it today. We've got to do it today because we've only got a week until the actual event. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is a week, it's a week today. today. Um, it's a real good one, guys, as well. Oh. It really is. This is, we were saying yesterday, it's perfect for this time of year. Obviously, it's a bit cold. Everyone's feeling a bit ill, aren't they, and run mm. down at the mm-hmm. moment. So this would be lovely. It's a really nice spa experience. But for all the details, just go to our Instagram pages, at Laura Summers Lifestyle and at Becky Hayes UK. <laughs> Okay, what's going on in the world? I'm going to let you lead this one. 
Shall we start with Clarkson? Oh, we're starting with Clarkson. I thought, yeah, I thought we'd mix it up and start with him. So okay. obviously he's been a naughty boy recently. Um, he said some very not nice things yes. about Meghan Markle. Um, just things that were way over the top. It, it was just a really silly thing to do. Yeah, there was just no need for it at all. And he really went in on her. Anyway, he has um, sent an apology. I can't think of my words to tell Richard. <laughs> the thing is, I mean, look, just, it is an apology. Um, but basically, he starts the apology blaming other people for not accepting apologies. So it's a bit weird. So he's put, mm. oh, one of the strange things I've noticed in recent times is whenever an MP or a well-known person is asked to apologise for something, no matter how heartfelt or profound that apology may be, it's never enough for the people who called for it in the first place. But do you know what? I reckon he's calling people's bluff on that. He's almost been like, he's saying that so people then don't go, we don't accept it. Yeah. I think he's been trying to be a bit clever, but just apologise, yeah. Jeremy. Then he's kind of gone. I mean, it's, it's a long apology, but basically he kind of makes a bit of an excuse saying, I usually, I read, I proofread what I've written, but in this case, I was in a hurry. So I just pressed send. And then the column appeared the next day. Um, he kind of read his own column and went, did I write that? I couldn't believe what I wrote. I also think that, because you know when, I mean, we've written emails in the past. If someone's kind of like, it's not when they owe us money, actually. And mm. if, we're, if we put something that's a little bit sterner than mm. usual, we put it in drafts and we look over it, we discuss it. We never, ever just go, boom, send. Yeah. I think that when you're sending something a bit different to what you normally do, you're more conscious of it. So I don't believe that you just went, duh, 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 send. send. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not no. buying it, really. Because it, it was quite a long paragraph and he knew what he'd written. I think, like we were saying earlier, when you're angry and you're having an argument, you'll say something you don't mean because you're angry and saying something is just quick. Blah, 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 you've done it and you walk off and you're like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. When you're typing something out, yeah. you are, you you're know processing what you're it doing. More. Yeah. And actually, he'd press send and like, he probably went away Way, did a few things and maybe you know when you go to bed at night and you think right have I done that oh yeah I've, I've done my son column <laughs> he, maybe he might have thought should I have written that and you could have made a quick phone call do you know what I mean mm -hmm. and other people proofread this as well yeah and also Jeremy Clarkson's an intelligent guy he's not stupid is he so also as well though Amazon have now cancelled him know. so the Grand Tour cancelled Clarkson's farm oh, I know cancelled so they're still doing the ones that have been filmed and commissioned already they'll still be shown but they're not doing anything new with him so he's like, he's you know what'll it. happen though it just it will just go on to something else won't it another yeah. channel someone else will buy it yeah. um right love island did you watch it last I night i watched like five minutes of it i feel like someone's gonna knock at my door hello you're too old to be watching this. Turn it off. I feel like I'm an imposter. I just can't watch it. They are very young on there. I'll be honest. I'm not really interested in the contestants this no. year. I'm all about Maya Jammer. Yeah. That is all I'm interested I think in. a lot of people are. I think there's a lot of memes going around this morning as well. Just saying, just pick Maya. Like, she's the winner. She's the fittest out of the lot of them. Yeah. She is Listen, the fittest. Caroline Flack, beautiful. Yeah. Laura Whitmore, beautiful. She's something up at my job. She's hot. She's got she's a, a bit of sassiness, lady. hasn't she? Yes. There's a, just, she's perfect for this yeah. job. And she's bringing something a little bit different to it. Also, um, she's on it a lot more than previous presenters oh, have yeah. been. So last night she was on it twice. Oh. Yeah, and normally you don't see the presenters that much, but they're yeah. bringing out Maya Jammer left, right and centre. Do you know what we were saying, though? They need to mix, they need some... Where are the big girls at? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where's where they, why are they all just they they are covered in oil for a start? <laughs> covered in it. You know when you're oily, it's horrible, isn't it? Your hair sticks to. The, oh. Do you not do that, mate? They when we go walk, when we go to Ringwood, like, and you put your put your bikini on, you pop oil. a bit of oil on. Like oh, welcome, Dan. Dan I'm surprised Dan doesn't slip <laughs> down. <laughs> Like, <laughs> here I am. Do you know what I mean? Like, a, it's just a slide slide in. <laughs> like Down a slide. Yeah. Just, uh, they just slip away again. It's just disgusting. Oh, God, I mean, their bodies look good, though, mate, don't oh, they? I'm literally watching boring. it thinking... It's boring. But Becky, we do we do need some older people so in young. there. They're so young. They're so young. Mate, that's not all wrinkled. Oh, I'm looking for love. Are you? You're 19. <laughs> Shut up. That's the thing. One of them said last night, oh. or a few of them were like, oh, I've been single, single for a year ages. and a half. And they're like 20 years old. Yeah, it just does. It's not hitting. Like, what, what, Davina McCall, 
said, didn't she? A middle-aged Love Island. I would watch that. I wanted to have stories, divorce stories. Yeah, you want people who've been through the mill a little bit. My sister on a middle-aged Love Island. You imagine the anger. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. We all get a little bit loopy, don't we? As we get older and we've been through stuff, we all go a little bit psycho. So get a load of psychos in there. That would be brilliant. Get some middle-aged psychos in there. Give them a load of booze. (laughs) That would be a (laughs) programme. Okay, mate. Um, what is it? Mate. I um, what it is. So we're talking about um, yesterday at your daughter's... Oh, yes. No, sorry, Sunday at your daughter's <gasps> 18th. with us today? God, no, I need to, like, start this again. Okay, so um, my I organised a little surprise soiree for my daughter's 18th. So it was basically family and close friends. And I'm family, by oh, the way, guys. Family. Just yeah, in case you're, you're wondering. Cl- of course yeah. you are. I'm family. Um, and there was about... 15 of us, 16 of us. So we were all sat around a table and we had like a speaker and some music on. And I had this genius idea of um, going around the table and asking people like, I had a, like Spotify up and I was like, can you just tell me your favourite song or a song you'd like that reminds you of Grace? Okay. Um, so I went around the table. Lots of people go blank, which is really weird. You're like, oh, can't think of any songs whatsoever. Now there was a mixture of young and middle-aged and old, right? I'm going to say, I thought this was a great idea. In hindsight, perhaps not so much. Terrible. Not so much. (laughs) Um, So I'm going to have a look at the playlist now, and we're just going to go through some of the songs that were picked. Um, And some of them are absolutely terrible. So we had a lot of Harry Styles. That was great. There was a lot of Harry Styles, yeah. Yeah. Um, So we had Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody. Great song. Love that. A bit of Becky Hill, bit of Gimme, 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 ABBA. All great songs. And then it gets a little bit, um, a little bit odd. Okay. So I've got The the Times, Ms. Grace. What is that? Absolutely. Who picked that? I don't know, actually. We've got Jeff Beck, Hi Ho, Silver Lining. I remember when that came on because the whole room went silent. Everyone's like, who's picked this? Um, there was one. Oh, God, I can't remember what it was. Um, no, what, God, what was it? Something about leaving your hat, leaving your hat somewhere. Oh, you can leave your hat on, no, Full Monty. No, it wasn't oh. that. It was something else. Oh, P- Papa's got a brand new bag. How does that go it was again? my. It was. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna call him out. It's my father-in-law. My husband said he was like the one. Papa's got a pig in his back. Or something. Papa's got a pig I in his bag. I swear to you, it was something <laughs> like there's a pig in my bag or a pig in the bag. <laughs> And a I pig in blanket. Was like, what, what's going on it here? Was, it was a very random playlist, and then. That, well, I, then, I took control. You took control. Sheep came on. Sheep. Well, no, do you that know what that you? inspired me? One of, um, it was Polly, I think, put that oh, on. Okay. I, I was in a bracket with your 18-year-old daughter Literally, and her friends. This song came on because I oh, chewed, literally started rapping. Uh, we were doing it across the table yeah. to your 18-year-old yeah, daughter. I know. I was like, yep, I know which side of the table I need <laughs> yeah. to be sat at. I need to be sat with the kids. <laughs> That's where I need to be. Um, but then it kind of inspired me so I was like whoever it was I think it was your brother-in-law who had the phone I was like do you mind if I just borrow that for a second well what he did is he, he was like oh you know you can share playlists and on table I was like oh god how so anyway what's up something to him he then got control of the playlist so he could control the speaker yeah then you took his phone I just stole his phone I was like I'll I'll deal with this and put on some bangers mate some absolute bangers but then he stole it back off me and then I lost yeah. control and then I think um my father-in-law got it and it just went very downhill. It Very did. downhill. At one point, Matt just looked at me and he was like, Somebody stop him. Somebody, <laughs> somebody take over the playlist. So the moral of the story don't is share a playlist. No, no. you just don't know what yeah. you're gonna get, no. do you? No. So yeah, you need an assigned DJ, I think. Absolutely. Well, you, mm. you me. You, I, I like being the DJ. Yeah, yeah, I should yeah, have yeah. given it to you. Right, we're off. We've got to go. We've got a meeting in 15 minutes, mate. We've got no makeup right. on. Okay. Have a good Wednesday. <laughs>